Hi guys, and welcome to Dork Ninja Gaming on YouTube. I am Ninja Misty, and I am here with a special episode for you guys, because today, January 16th, is the long-awaited release date for Armories in DCUO. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview, or at least as much as an overview as I can give you, as this is new content for uh, me as well. So I am on Evil Ninja Misty. Thought I'd change it up a little bit for you guys. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit start and I'm gonna go over to my journal and you will see that a mission has populated your journal called your armory. So you're gonna click X on that and it's gonna give you the armory in your inventory. Now, when I open my inventory, you'll see that I already have two uh, armories in there. I went ahead and purchased one from the marketplace because I knew uh, that I would want one to hold my PvE gear and one to hold my PvP gear. Because for me, that's the biggest challenge uh, is when you're out and you think, oh, well, let's do PvP. And it's like, oh, goodness gracious, it's time to switch your armor and you open your... You open your inventory up and you happen to be out in Metropolis and you freeze and you think, dang it. Or you're out there just, I don't know, gathering some exo bits and, ah, uh, gosh dang it, you've forgotten that you're in a PvP server and somebody s comes over and starts kicking your butt. Well, now you can switch lightning fast and we'll talk about how to do that in just a minute. So right now I am going to open up my inventory and we are going to first we'll accept the purple one because that's the one from the journal pretty easy i'm going to go ahead and switch over um, and collect the one that i bought in the marketplace and i'll talk about the marketplace in a minute as well okay so now you might be thinking well how exactly do i place and use my armory to imprint my build well what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your little control panel, enter decoration mode, and then decide where you want to put your armory. Now, the good thing is, is it's not locked in a place like um, the base amenities. So I think I have more room downstairs right now. There's nothing really down here yet. So for purposes of demonstration, I will put them here. So let's find them really quick. Go down through. Let's see, boy, I have more stuff than I thought. Okay, so this is my purchased armory. I'm gonna put it here, and you can see that you can move it around, rotate it, just like you can um, your regular base items. So I am going to place, whoops that one right there and uh, the style of the armory will change depending on your layer style so I'm in the ancient layer so you can see it looks I guess appropriate for the ancient theme and let's see if I can find okay and here is the other one I'll just put them side by side just makes it easier while I'm talking to you guys okay so let's go see what these bad boys can do. All right. Now, I'm gonna imprint the first one with my PVE gear, uh, since that is what I am currently wearing. So I walk over to it, you're gonna hold circle on it, and you'll see this little menu that pops up. So because I have not imprinted on this armory yet, I'm going to do that. Okay, now you can name it. I'll just, for purposes of talking to you guys, we'll just call it the PVE one. And then you can, change, you can add an icon to it. Uh, since it's my regular gear, I'll use the fancy hat. <laughs> All right, and so you can see what's kind of cool, what I think is cool, is you have a little mannequin now. She's bald, but aw. 
so you can see your styles. It adds something cool to your base. I mean, it makes you kind of feel more like a superhero or super villain. So I think that's really neat. Um, and that brings up another point. If you do change your costumes, like if I wanted to roll with different gear for PvP, um, or if I wanted to buy, you can have up to four armories in your base. If I wanted to have two alternate costumes just for, you know, purposes of being a fashion plate in the DC world, I could put two armories and load those out. Um, I'm going to switch into my PvP gear really quick. I will be glad to kiss these days goodbye. You know? Let's see. Take that ring out, put this one in. Um, load my trinkets, if I can find my flash trinket. Where are you? Flash trinket. Okay. So then I'm going to outfit my PVP armory. So I'm going to imprint it. I'm going to name it. And then I'll put an icon. Let's see, is there like the beat down? Okay, we'll put the crown because hey, it's PVP. All right. So now the cool thing, if you hold down L2 and R2 on your controller, you can see that up on the D-pad is going to put me in my PVE gear and left, left on the D-pad is going to put me in my PVP gear. Okay, it said build activation is not ready yet. What does that mean? Okay, so I'm in my PVE gear. And now, I threw my magic smoke bomb and I'm in my PvP gear. So that is so awesome, you know? Okay, now let's talk about what these armories can do for you other than making life a little more convenient switching between your PvE and PvP gear. Let's say, um, let's say on Evil Ninja Misty that I have healer gear and I want to put an armory in here because we get into a raid we don't have a healer um, I'm comfortable playing that role so if I have a set of gear I can come on here one time respect myself as a healer load everything out um, for healer role come to the armory imprint my healer role and then I have an option to quick change you don't have to go respec um, in the Hall of Doom or the Watchtower so that's kind of a cool thing. Um, you know, you can switch uh, on the fly. When you're in PvE, I believe it said that there's a 10 minute um, time limit. Like if I was in a raid and I switch, I'd have to wait 10 minutes before I could switch back to, let's say from DPS to healer, healer to DPS, tank, troller, whatever your role happens to be. Um, I believe that you have to be level 12 to be able to use this. You can share bank your armories with other characters on the same account, but that is before you consume them. So let's say you buy like the big pack of armories and you want, you buy, like if I bought them here on Evil Ninja Misty and I wanted to send them to some of my other characters, you just put it in your shared bank. Um, let's see. You have to, um, you can't have more than 10 unspent skill points or three unspent power points. So make sure that you have loaded all of that out. If you're having trouble and you're like, why can't I get this to imprint? Just make sure you have your skill points put in. Um, let me think. Do, 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 do. Okay, now if you want to buy these in the marketplace, and they have them up. Let's see if I can get the marketplace to load. 
One armory is $6 per armory. They have a four pack for $20, so that's going to be $5 per armory. An eight pack for $32, uh, which breaks down to $4 per armory. Um, you're using the marketplace cash here on the PlayStation. And I think that they said they're going to add it to the loyalty vendor that you can use for loyalty points um, if you get those if you're legendary. And so you can see uh, that they're here in the marketplace. And yeah, I, I think it's a cool little addition. Just, just for me, the convenience of being able to switch from PvE to PvP gear. I'll probably get another one eventually and get some healer gear for Evil Ninja Misty. And the same on Ninja Misty, I'll probably uh, get a third one for a DPS build. And I'm sure Ninja Andrew will... Um, add some things to make life a little easier when he's switching his gear as well. So I think that covers it. Um, just to summarize, just make sure you go to your journal when you first log on, consume uh, that mission. It's going to give you the little armory in your inventory and just go back to your control panel like you're going to put furniture, whoops, like you're going to put furniture in your base and it will be in your list of items. And if you purchase one from the marketplace, it's probably going to be at the bottom of your list. But you saw the other one was kind of um, there in the middle of things. So I think that covers it. Just wanted to give you guys a real quick overview because it's something new. And yeah, stay tuned. We've got new episodes coming for you guys. Uh, we're working hard. Now that we have hit 2014 and Ninja Andrew's computer is behaving, so like, subscribe, um, look for us on Facebook. I'm working hard to get our page up and running there. And you know you can always find us on YouTube. Give us a shout out when you see us out in the DC universe. And stay tuned for more epic adventures with Dork Ninja Gaming. Thanks guys, bye.